Today we're going to honor somebody very special. He's my good friend, and, and I'm just so excited about having Randy here today. Show, show this wonderful picture, just in case you can't see it. We're going to honor Randy for five years of service. I didn't even put the one with a dress on you. Yeah, that's, I, I'm sorry, but at Plymouth Covenant, that's just not good enough. You're going to get a chance to really cheer in a minute, okay? Hey, we're going to give you a chance to really uh, just celebrate, but I just want to talk about Randy. You know, Randy first applied here to be the youth pastor. Do you know that? And, and, and it just was one of those things. We saw Randy, and it was just so excited, but it was just not the right time. And later on, when we started thinking about men's ministry and what we thought God wanted to do, we came back to Randy and thought of him. And we talked to Randy. It's kind of like Sarah's story as well. And, and kind of, we talked to Randy and said, Randy, we just really believe this is something you could do. And I remember sitting down for Chinese food, and you didn't tell me that you didn't like Chinese food, but you sat down, you ate it anyway. <laughs> and, and we're sitting there and, and just talking about ministry and and recognize there's a kindred spirit here, a man that just wants to see the change. And, and you know what? It's happened. Five years have been very fruitful. I just want to spell the word five, if you don't mind, okay? First of all, Randy, you're a friend. Um, I can't say that about everybody, but you're a friend. You're faithful. You're there. I know I could call you any time of the day, and you'd be there. And you'd come, and you'd help me. You insult my cars. You, you, <laughs> you are truly a friend, and you're just great to have around. You are, you are impactful. The number of men in this place whose lives are different today because you've chose to be faithful is amazing. The number of marriages that have been raised tremendously because people have followed in the steps that you've provided for them. Thank you. You're very uh, passionate. When you hear Randy, he uses the word awesome about 800 times <laughs> because everything is awesome to Randy. And, and he's very, very passionate about cars, yes, and he's very passionate about his family. Boy, don't come between Randy and his family. They're very passionate about God and his faith. Very, very passionate about ministry. Just very passionate about God. And we're so glad for that. And last of all, it's not over. This isn't the end. This is just the beginning. I'm excited about what God's about to do. Five years is nothing here at Plymouth Covenant. You've you got, you know, old age penivets coming. So we're really excited about that. And we're going to pray for you. But before we do, um, go to the next slide. So what we've done is we've worked a little... Um, it's from Philippians chapter 2, 29, and I think when Paul speaks to the church at Philippi, he tells us to remember the people that are faithful here as well. And what we're going to ask you to do, if you haven't done this before, this is something we do at anniversaries, 5-year, 10-year, 15-year, and then 35-year when Bob gets to that. We do this, so it's just a lot of fun. We just say, Randy, just practice with me, just really softly. Randy, we appreciate you and hold you in high regard. And then what you do is you get up out of your seats. <coughs> And you say, thank you, and then you cheer. Okay? You got that? The slow people just go like this. You got that? Okay? <laughs> Let's do it together, okay? Randy, we appreciate you and hold you in high regard. Thank can remain standing. Don't sit down yet. Nobody tell you to sit down. Okay. <laughs> if you've been in Mark Man, which is a lot of you, I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to get up up there, come on down, and we're going to add Randy right down the middle here, and we're going to pray for him. Okay? And this is going to be filled with all the people that have been, not, it's not to separate those that haven't been Mark Men and not shame you. No, no. It's just to show you the movement that's beginning to happen in our church. So I'm going to ask you a question. What do you need from Jesus today? How can we pray? Just, uh, some awesome, <laughs> uh, uh, what do I need from Jesus is uh, just continual vision for where God wants to lead the men's ministry here. And I'm really excited about it and uh, just uh, continue guidance and direction. That's good. Let's get down here, Randy. So if you've been in Mark Men, please come on down. Let's lay hands on Randy, man. It's pretty important Dennis came out of the balcony. <laughs> Could the rest of you just extend your hand as we pray for our brother? Father, I'm so grateful for Randy and for his faithfulness, God, for how willing he's been to serve you, wherever that means, to leave Colorado to come back to Minnesota, God, to be here. It's been quite a journey these five years. We've watched him go through so many things with his family and with his mom, and, and God, he's always kept his eyes on you. His, his amazing faith, God, comes from you, and it's faith that moves mountains, and we're so grateful for that. 
Right now, we just pray your blessing upon his family to heal them, God, to bring them close to you, to allow them to know how much you love them. I pray that you might give Randy vision. Oh, God, it tells about older men and younger men dreaming dreams and having visions. And I pray that you might give that to Randy about men's ministry here. God, this is just the beginning. I just can't imagine what will happen when men are raised up to follow you, marked for Christ, doing the work that you've called them to do out of love for you, God. I pray that that might happen and happen in Randy's heart. Protect him, God, from the evil one. Help him not to get discouraged. Help his eyes not to be on others, but on you. I pray that he might listen to the voice of the Spirit who speaks in his ear and comforts him in his heart. I pray that you might fill him to overflowing and that we might receive the blessing. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen.